Stress is a natural, physical, and mental reaction to life and all its experiences. Everyone expresses stress from time to time. We all are aware of it, and we know we possibly can go through it each and every single day. Stress increases from everyday responsibilities like work, family, to serious life events such as a new diagnosis, war, or death of a loved one can trigger stress responses. For immediate short-term situations, stress can benefit our health. It can help us cope with potentially serious situations. Our bodies respond to stress by releasing hormones that increases our heart and breathing rates and ready to take on our everyday lifestyle. The main problem is our stress levels never turn off. If these levels stay elevated far longer than is necessary for survival, it can take a toll on our health. Over time, it develops into chronic stress, which can cause a variety of symptoms and affects our overall well-being. Symptoms of chronic stress include irritability, anxiety, depression, headaches, and insomnia. Our central nervous system is in charge of our fight or flight response. In our brain, the hypothalamus gets the ball rolling telling our adrenal glands to release the stress hormones adrenaline and cortisol. These hormones rev up our heartbeat and send blood rushing to the areas that need it the most in an emergency situation, such as our muscles, our heart, and other important organs. When the perceived fear is gone, the hypothalamus should tell all systems to go back to normal. But again, the main problem is our stressors don't go away and the response still remains. Stress hormones affect our respiratory and cardiovascular systems. During the stress response, we breathe faster in an effort to quickly distribute oxygen-rich blood to our body. If you already have a breathing problem like asthma or emphysema, stress can make it even harder to breathe. Under a great deal of stress, our heart also pumps faster. Stress hormones cause our blood vessels to constrict and divert more oxygen to our muscles so we'll have more strength to take on the action or the problem at hand but this also raises our blood pressure. In a result of going through such turmoil and dealing with large amounts and moments of stress, our chronic stress will make our heart work too hard for too long. When our blood pressure rises, so does our risk of having a stroke or heart attack. Like many of the conditions I cover here at the J-Wall in the studio has to do with our muscular system. Our muscles tense up to protect ourselves from injury when we're under stress. We tend to release again once we relax, but if we're constantly under stress, our muscles may not get a chance to relax. Tight muscles cause headaches, back and shoulder pain, and even body aches. I cannot stress enough, no pun intended, how important it is to really relax and find a way to manage our health and wellness. We need to take time for breathing exercises, go on walks, nice little environments that are going to make us feel better in our lifestyle. The ability to take time to rejuvenate is, yes, a task in itself. Being able to carve out time for just ourselves to heal our body is something that's very challenging in our fast-paced lifestyle that we live in. From hustle and bustle to deadline and demands, we really do need to take time for ourselves. If you got anything out of my video today is that stress isn't the complete enemy of the situation, but it's a response that we need to have a little bit of control over. And that control is going to take time and practice. But remember folks, like all things, go back to the basics.